What's poppin' collective? I lost my live, but I am back now. Hey guys, I'm waiting on you guys to come back. I am waiting on you guys to come back. I lost my live connection earlier, but it's okay. Things happen. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Creative Illuminations. This is your host, Rashun, coming through on the ones and twos. For anybody that was here earlier, I lost my live connection. But I'm back now. Yeah, Cynthia. I was told not to speak on it, so I'm not going to speak on it. But, you know, we got people doing black magic, and it backfired. And, I have, and that's all I'm going to say. What's up, Thomas? Somebody was doing some black magic and it backfired, but they told me not to speak on it. So we're going to continue with the message, okay? Thank you so much, Trinity. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Mocha Megan. Hey, Cynthia. What's up, y'all? Chaya. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Laugh at your haters. Hey, laugh at your haters. What? Laugh at your haters. What? Laugh at your haters. <laughs> you can't stop nothing. <laughs> and I'm an idiot right there. <laughs> so now I'm about to pull these decks together. I'm about to pull the deck together, right? And we're going to get some new messages. The last reading was basically my mood this year. I'm trying to tell you, look. Y'all know I got to eat. I'm in the process of eating and working. It is what it is, right? We got to get in how we get it in. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Before we get started, hey guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey guys, my name is Rashun. Welcome to my channel, The Hard Knock Life of Tarot. I am your spiritual advisor. Not only am I a tarot card reader, but I'm a Reiki practitioner. I am a mentor, a trauma a mentor coach. I am a life coach. I am a health coach. I am everything that you need me to be. I am currently, of course, in my life, my North Node, and I'm here to assist and guide you guys. Also, I do not cast black magic, but I do break spells over your life. Okay, guys, so if you need any of those services, please reach me at creativeilluminations.net. No, I do not take any donations online anymore, but I do still do personal readings. They start at $22.22 for 35 minutes for individual services, if you like those services, okay? What's up, gods? What's up, goddesses? What's up, rebel leaders? What's up, master teachers, master students? What's up to anybody? Who's just joining spirituality? We would like to welcome you to the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. I am your host, Rashun, coming through on the ones and twos to deliver these messages to you. Let's get it. So we're about to get back into these messages. The first card is from the last reading. You work all day. Child, I, I, I try to get it in. I got these bills to pay, Cynthia. Crushed. Like I said, there is a karmic energy. I don't know. This could be you. This could be them. I don't know. This is collective energy. So you tell me where you fit in in this situation or how it resonates to you. Now, let's get back to the cards. Yeah, there's an energy, someone that's in your energy that feels sad, broken, feeling alone. Someone doesn't know which way to go. Somebody is, I want to say, going through anxiety right now, trying to figure out how they can piece their life back together. Because you have finally left and walked away. Yeah, someone is not available right now. So somebody feels sad and crushed. Maybe because you have moved on. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You have moved on. But this person is not available. So I don't understand why they feel crushed and alone and feel vulnerable when they didn't choose you. They chose the karmic energy over you is what I'm picking up. They still dealing with a karmic energy that, and they're not alone, but they feel like that you are walking away, that you're not, um, that your energy is dissipating from them is what I'm picking up. Somebody is ready to tell you the truth about a situation. She is holding a cell phone 
Damn, my daughter was found hung in Houston and police asked no questions. Shout to justice for Aaliyah. Oh yeah, most definitely justice for your daughter. Most definitely, you know I got you. Justice for Aaliyah. So let's spread that awareness. Thank you for sharing that with me. My, you, no problem, baby. No problem. When it comes to situations like that, I always, you know, represent. We always got to bring justice to light to, to uncover who these dark culprits are, these demonic ass people. That be trying to snuff out the uh, snuff out the the earth angels out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and you know spread awareness for Aaliyah. Justice for Aaliyah. Alright. So yeah, but I feel like that um about to reveal and tell you the truth. There could be a masculine or feminine energy that wants to tell you the truth. You're welcome, baby. That wants to tell you the truth about a situation here. Yeah, they feel broke, broken, lost, saddened. Um, even though that they're not available, they still feel like they need to tell you something or apologize to you. Yeah, somebody wants to meet up with you and tell you whatever they need to tell you. Whatever. This, this could be discussing two or more people. Maybe this person want to tell you some type of information about other individuals that was conspiring against you is what I'm picking up. Somebody knows something about something. I don't know shit. <laughs> Let's get to the next message. Y'all let me know if this is resonating with y'all. Shit, it's hot. Let me turn this goddamn, take this jacket off. Maybe you guys are dealing with a fire sign energy. I ain't going to be on here too long. I just came through to deliver some of these messages to y'all. What's up, y'all? Thank you, Trinity. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Teresa. Y'all know, I'm going to say how y'all doing. I ain't going to, hey, yeah. <laughs> y'all know it's give and take. <laughs> What's up, Pika? How you doing? Today going to be a good day. What's up, Lisa? What's up? That's Thomas. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Teresa. What up, Sid? I love y'all. I thank you so much. Thank you. Y'all know I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna get back to the reading. I just had to. I had to speak to my my tribe real quick. Y'all know I like to intertwine with y'all. How y'all doing today? Where y'all from? Let me know what city y'all from. What y'all? Who y'all representing? What up, tribe? Callie in the house. I'm in North Carolina over here, y'all. What up, what up, what up, what up, though? What up, Rhode Island? What up, though? What ain't St. Louis? What's up, St. Louis? What's up, Knoxville, Tennessee? I'm in goddamn Charlotte, North Carolina. Y'all know I don't care what I, yep, up north, you up north, yep. I'm in North Carolina, y'all. Down here uh, uh, in this tropical state where the weather don't know what it want to do. <laughs> Las Vegas. What's up, Las Vegas? What's up, Arizona? Heck yeah. You already know, Trinity. <laughs> one moment is cold, one moment is warm, but I love it, though. <laughs> we got 58 degrees right now. Tomorrow may be 33. My brother in Charlotte. Hey, what's up, though? Hey, what it do? Hey, what it do? Hey, what it do? Hey, what it do? What it do? What it do? Hey, what it do? Hey, what it do? Hey, what it do? What it do? What it do? Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> We got 28 people up in here. Shit, y'all know what time it is. We ending out old situations and going to new. Let's get it. Hey. <laughs> that's how yeah, that's how it here. Yeah, that's that's how it is here. It was 60 yesterday, today, 39. Yeah. I know, right? I love your energy. I love yours too. Twitter fingers. What's up, glitter? Where my unicorns at? Where my spiritual advisors at? Where my mediums at? Yo, where my witches at? The good witches, okay? <laughs> where my um, where my wizards at? Yeah, where my spiritual dope ass people at? Say, hey, represent your shit for real. Hey, let's get it. And for the ones who ain't into it, say shit. I want to learn. Ain't nothing wrong with learning. Shit, that means that you becoming awakened. Your chakras is coming along. For anybody else who wanna, who wanna, who are, who is interested, shit, speak up. 
Voice your opinion. Don't don't worry about what these other people say about what you got to, uh, about yo about how you want to practice your spirituality. Never let somebody put direction over your life. If you want to read tarot cards, read tarot cards. Shit, I want. I know that's right, and I'm here to teach. Y'all know I teach tarot. I teach tarot. I teach astro how to read your birth charts. I teach the seven chakras. Y'all know I'm a fucking teacher. I'm here. Come get your guidance. All right. Comes, um, you guys can visit my website at creativeilluminations.net, creativeilluminations.net. I feel things, I see things, orbs. Oh, of course, that's that's a sign. Um, uh, Mocha Megan, you already know it's time. They coming to you because they know you that you can handle the um the the, the route. I'm here for it. Gil, come on, y'all. Let's get it. Uh, Excuse me, I'm doing a class, uh, a seven chakra class. I'm teaching this um Miss Sharon Sunday. I do charge for those classes, but if you want to know more about the classes I teach, I teach divinity, birth chart readings, self-care, self-love, the chakra system, Egyptology. I, I also teach how you can um, open your abilities, your gifts and your talents. I will. I can help you align yourself so you can use those gifts to your higher expectations, okay? Sorry, guys. I just didn't want to, you know, be eating in your face like that. So if you guys need to have an attunement, if you need any spells broken over your life, you need any readings, or if you want to attend to any classes, please reach out to me at creativeilluminations.net. If you need any mentoring, any life coaching, any healing sessions, any um, energetic healing, please reach out to me at creativeilluminations.net. Now, let's get back into the reading. Yes, I know. Thank you. I know it's my time for all my blessings. Oh, hell yes, your time. How can I know if spells are on me like bad ones? Shit, if you, uh, if you are, you know what, Trinity, I will answer your question right now because my energy is depleted. But if you need to know more information about that, Please reach, reach me at creativeilluminations.net, creativeilluminations.net. But if you're having bad dreams, or if you are look, or if you feeling like you are, you can't see yourself in a bad in a better predicament, and if you're looking at yourself in a lower energy, then that's a spell on you. Okay. Hey Trey, I'm back. Y'all, I'm fasting. I know that's right, fast. But y'all, y'all know my energy is very limited. So I have to be mindful of, you know, the messages I put out and I can feel a drain on me now because I know somebody draining on, my, draining on my energy. But like I said, if you want to know more about this, you know, I do charge for my services. It is what it is. This is what I do. You have to use your gifts to help you be abundant. And I'm going to keep always real. If you would like to know who doing this black magic on you and if you would like to have that spell broken, I do have a package at $55.55. If you would like to get that, that spell removed and protect you and your masculine, then that package is available. But if you need to know uh, if someone is putting black magic on you and what, what are the outcomes, I could just give you a, a couple tips. If you are having nightmares, if you are looking at yourself or feeling that you are not the best uh, version of yourself, that's somebody who's projecting onto you. If you feel like that you can't move and you're stagnant, somebody got a death spell on you or somebody is, has put you in a jar spell to keep you to make you feel stuck. So that's the only thing I need. That's the only thing I can tell you right now. If you need any more um, advice, please book your appointment with me at creativeilluminations.net. If you try to book with me and if it's not and you can't book, that means that it, that appointment is either booked or I am off that day. Okay? I just feel drained like no energy. Yeah. Alright. So that's somebody pulling on your energy though. Somebody, you got a soulmate coming towards you guys. Somebody is going through a divorce. Somebody, uh-huh. Well, I got the divorce card in reverse. So I'm just going to be on here for a couple more cards. Yeah, I am tired. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm going to get up here. Because my energy is still being pulled on. I already know. Like I said, on the last video, there was a witch that did um, try to get TikTok to block my video. But it's been reversed. So I know that there's a witch that's now that's still pulling on my energy. As soon as I get off of here, I'll be all right. I don't know, um, MDC, if you need your energy read, please email me at creativeilluminations.net for your full reading. All readings start at $22.22. .22. I'm just going to pull a couple cards and I'm getting out of here. 
Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your comments. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I got rushing and running away. So there could be a masculine that's running away from a karmic energy here. Yeah, let's do it in public. Somebody who likes to um, have, um, what I want to say, um, secret rendezvous outside. Your person is running away from that particular karmic energy here. I feel like she was trying to hold on to this energy, trying not to let that person go for whatever reason. Somebody was trying to have control over a masculine or feminine energy, okay? Good morning, Goldie. Yeah, somebody may have a family with this individual. Somebody may have twins here. Somebody could have a boy or a girl child here. And I feel like this masculine is running away from that particular karmic energy. Yeah, I feel like this, uh, this individual, your person, has been pulling on your energy. I told you. Emotional distance. Your person has been pulling on you, has been sending you telepathic messages, trying to get you to come towards them. Yeah, somebody who has a family with somebody else is what I'm picking up. Yeah, but you're not going back. Some type of commitment in the reverse. Maybe this person wants to give you a commitment. Maybe you are like, hell no. Because you picked somebody else over me. Yeah, although that they're, they are running away from a karmic energy. But you're not. You, you're saying hell no because they, let the, they chose somebody else over you. Yeah, they chose a freak bitch over you, child. Yeah. I'm over that loser, loser 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, child. Look, that's somebody's situation. Yeah. Something about make you scream. Who want to make who scream? Chad? Oh, she was trying to use... Oh, she was somebody who could dress very sexy, have lashes, makeup, hair did, nails did, makeup beat. You know what I'm saying? She used sex magic to keep masculine stuck. Yeah. She a swallow bird is what I'm picking up. Somebody who's very risque, who likes to do things in public. Somebody who's very um, talented is what I'm picking up. Yeah, I'm picking up that she was she had some type of control over this masculine. Yeah, I feel like it was an addiction. I feel like he 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 had an addiction with this person. He couldn't walk away. That's why he couldn't make a decision about you because this person was got dang. She was skilled with it. She was talented. We're gonna leave it like that. She was very talented. Okay. <laughs> he left me for the karmic. Yeah, Chad. Yeah, but I feel like. Now he is he is making a decision to run or she is making a decision to run away. Hell, this could be you. Chad, this could be you, Divine Feminine. Your masculine could be very talented. And and, and was trying to get that come back towards you. And trying to get that thought he was gonna use these six games and tactics to keep your you stuck. It can go both ways, y'all. This ain't just about feminine, it's about masculine too. Y'all may have had a karmic masculine, a twin flame, who's still a negative energy that's trying to come back towards you to try to use hey, hey baby, that's trying to come towards you to see if they can get you stuck again but you know that this masculine is still dealing with other goddamn third party energies take it as a resonate not everybody's situation but somebody's situation shit yeah you know this person not committal chad you better not you better not you better not because that, that motherfucker trying to come through this like i said this could be a master of feminine you better not got that go back this mug ain't gonna commit to you chad mm -hmm. What? He pissed off or she pissed off. Whoever that energy pissed off because they can't get them run a game on you no more. Yeah. Because he love them all. Love them all. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this person ain't happy at all. Oh, somebody said they not happy. Because they picked this third party energy over here. They got exactly what they wanted. Yeah, I got somebody. He need to, When a card came in the reverse, cleans energy in the reverse. I feel like your energy is cleansed from someone who lived the nightlife. So you cleansed your energy. Yeah, that man was a stalker. Child, yeah. Look, so you cleansed your energy from somebody who had a drug problem. A alcohol problem, somebody who sleeps around, somebody who does not know how to live a authentic life. I'm, I'm just saying though, somebody is all for the streets. Somebody is a gambler. You had to leave that motherfucker alone. You say, man, hell no. All you do is get up with these freak bitches. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. Hey, right. <clears throat> excuse me, that was confirmation. <laughs> Audrey, yes, my sister, glory be to God. Yeah, thank you guys. Look. <laughs>
You say, hell no. Look, you for the streets. I can't deal with you. Divine Feminine, you say, I'd rather go work on myself and, and let God send me who I supposed to have in my life. Right? So I feel like you found yourself love. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. These messages can go both ways. Take it as it resonate, okay? Because I represent for my Divine Masculines as well. Thank you guys for the likes and shares in the comments. Yeah, whatever court situation somebody was trying to put you in, they lost. You won. What? This could be spiritual court or this could be a court situation for real, for real, for some of you guys. Whatever the case may be, you won. They lost. Spiritual court or this could be a court situation. Yeah, this person ain't even goddamn single and still trying to come towards you. So why would you go? Why would you put yourself? Oh, I won. I know that's right. You in the Trinity. I told you. Yeah. You in a car that rich for yes, I'm in a car. Car messages, car messages. And look, I got my army fatigue on today, y'all. I'm finna show y'all what I got on. I got my army fatigue on today, y'all. Shit, we bull ready. What? This is all your day. This is my day. You know what I'm saying? All you, we, 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 we represent all you on Thursdays, right? So yeah, yeah, we bull ready, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You already know, Cynthia. Restraining order. Yep, it went right in your favor, didn't it? Hold on, let me fix that. Yet, I told you this masculine ain't single. Look, he tried to come to y'all, right? Like, yo, yeah, I ain't with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I cut them karmics off. I'm ready to make it work. You, you ready to make it work? Can we make it work? But this motherfucker finna got them come gas your ass up to keep your ass stuck. I'm just letting you know, leave that motherfucker alone, because he ain't single for somebody's situation. Don't be boo-boo the fool. Use your discernment. I ain't got my other cars out here, Chad. Yeah. But I say, shit, you ain't, but you ain't hot for him no more. I can't show you what the car look like. But you say, hell no, masculine, you can't get me no more. Yeah, I found the most, me too, girl, Solomon. Oh, I love that name, Solomon Child. Oh, dope. Hey, Solomon Child 33, I got you. Most definitely, much love to you, baby. I love it. Let's go. I already know that name, the name speak for itself. Hey, Victoria, that, it is a beautiful day. Thank you, Victoria. Yeah, look here. It came in the reverse. You, maybe you was hot for him at one time or for her at one time. And you say, hell no. You like, Chad, you nasty. Ugh. Chad, you are not a kept woman or a kept man. Your ass like the goddamn sleep around. It's too many diseases out here. You like, ew, bum, get away from me. Ew, bum, I'm picking up that Nicki Minaj energy. You like, ew, bum, ew, where your gloves at? <laughs> Y'all sedity as hell. <laughs> I love it though. Y'all picking his ass like, ew, you can't touch me. What the fuck? Ew, bum, walk away. Get away from me, child the fuck <laughs> I love it I love it no that's that goddamn y'all remember that Facebook post and they had that radioactive mask it was two people that had the radioactive mask and there was one dude that was trying to give the other uh, the other radioactive mask partners some flowers that's how I feel this connection is like if you get back with this person it's gonna be straight toxic <laughs> Hey Veronica, what's up, uh, user 505? Look, <laughs> so it's like don't go back, don't go backwards, go forward. Even if there's somebody there or not there, I always have enough self love and self uh, uh what I'm gonna say dedication and self resilience not to put yourself in another third party situation. This motherfucker coming back to lie to you. Yeah, maybe if you, you maybe you was obsessed with this person at one time, but you're not now, because you wanted you wanted a commitment with this person, but you realize this person was not committal. That's why you walked away. Hell no. Yeah, this tragic love affair is over with, bitch. You already know. Let's go. You say hell fucking no. Get the fuck out of here. And that's gonna leave that masculine, that karmic masculine and feminine energy in a mental, uh mental breakdown, mental confinement, mental prison, mental restraint. Somebody's going to be like, damn, they broke the curse. Damn. They don't want to be with me no more. Damn. I thought I had it like that. Damn. 
Damn, they, I guess they are a goddess. Damn, I guess they are a god. Damn, I fucked up. Damn, I should have got they treated her better or treated him better. Damn. They feeling sorry now for not choosing you in the first place because they wanted third party energies. These risque behaviors, these third party energies, these th this polygamous lifestyle, period. And it's been and it's been removed from your life. Period. This motherfucker quiet watching you blossom in the background. Period. Yeah. Ain't no more mixed signals. This person can't throw you no more mixed signals. You have woken up from the bullshit. You're not asleep anymore. No more mixed signals. You see this person for who they are. Uh -huh. The tricks backfired. Try again, mother sucker. Try again, mother sucker. Try again. Maria Garcia, can me a soccer out again? Seco, you lose. You lose. You lose. You lose. You lose. Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. You thought you had this divine feminine. You thought you had that divine feminine right where you want them. And she done turned around or divine masculine done turned around and showed up and showed out. Oh, that way. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting my mojo back. I'm going to get a couple more messages and I'm getting up out of here. <laughs> What's up, Audrey? What's up? If y'all need a good morning, Ines. Good Ines. If you guys need a collective energy, I mean a collective energy. If you guys need an individual reading, please um message me at creativeilluminations.net. Creativeilluminations.net. Remember when you book readings with me, you get free member points that goes off that will go towards having half off on your services, okay? Or uh, any service that you want, you can get 10% off, 15% off. And sometimes you can get free readings depending on how many member points that you have. When you sign up to the website or subscribe to the website, it is for free. You can get member points by doing that. Okay, for every dollar that you spend, you get a point. Okay, you spend $22.22, .22, you get 22 points. You can rank up to 100 points and get 10% off of a reading. Okay, so or you can get 10 minutes. Off of uh, or get an extra 10 minutes on the reading, so it's all on you if you want to um purchase those services to get uh to also to also participate in our loyalty program. Like I said, it doesn't cost anything to join the loyalty program or to sign up to the website or to um uh to subscribe to the website, it's totally free. All right, and then if you guys want to contact me, you can call me at 980. 312-7821. This video will also be uploaded on YouTube at The Hard Knock Life for Tarot. The Hard Knock Life for Tarot. Thank you guys for listening. As I said, did you send me the correct number? I sent you the correct number, baby. 980-312-7821. Everybody always call me on that number, Cynthia. That is my number. I've been using that number for six months now. I know that number. <laughs> That's my number, 980-312-7821. Let's get some more messages so we can end it. Yeah, you have a person that's desiring you, so I'm picking up that you have a new person that's in your energy. Yeah, so you got somebody, you got somebody coming towards you, or you are already involved with this person already, and they are um, desiring you. You are very um, magnetic um but I'm going to say, you have a very magnetic pull towards this person. Yeah, my new man. You got a new man, baby. Yes. And guess what? You guys are protected with... Uh, You guys are protected. Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Hanel is what I'm picking up. These angels are protecting you guys. Even if you was to go back to this other person, you have to use protection. If you guys was to go back to that twin flame... For some of you guys who want to make it work with that twin flame, that person was, is going to infect you. So, I'm just saying, though. Yeah, look at all the women he was dealing with. What you think? Chad? Yeah, but I'm just saying, though. Hey, sis. What's up, Latrice? Yes. Yeah, because he want to try new things with you, Chad. Look at this shit. But you going to have to protect yourself if you... Ha <laughs> ha! That motherfucker's sick. Yo, I'm just here to get that. I'm just a messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. 
I missed you too. Oh man, I'm getting hot. It's hot as hell in here. Let me roll down these windows. I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. <laughs> Let me get some more messages. Like I said, I feel like he been desiring you. Or she been desiring you. But they sick than a motherfucker. Fuck that. Let them desire on. Thank you for subscribing, sister. I appreciate you. Chad, he told me something. I want you now. Can I have you? <laughs> I'm picking up that energy like. <laughs> Somebody thirsty as hell. Yeah, you plugged in. You know what the fuck going on, Chad. <laughs> Chad. What else going on? Let me get some more energy. I'm going to get the hell up out of here. What's up, user? Not today. <laughs> Yeah, somebody, you know somebody was in no strings attached relationships, Chad. Somebody was acting very childish and shit. Yeah, now they saying they must see you soon. Hell no, Chad. Yeah. Because you know they was having sex with their ex. Yeah. There's some type of... You got the receipts about this shit. Chad, no. This karmic energy is triggered by you. Because this masculine is still sending you telepathic songs and dreams. There's a karmic energy that know about you. Okay, you send... I sent you some messages. I'm about to look at it, baby. Send me. I, I don't know. I don't be getting no messages on TikTok like that. <laughs> I don't be getting no messages on TikTok. Y'all got to send it to my website, man. See still. Because they, they, they be so far down. I don't know. I don't be getting no messages on TikTok like that. But, I mean, I try to get them as much as I can. Ready for the world looking like a snack back then. They didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. You already know, sit. Yeah. This masculine feel like a fool for dealing with this goddamn karmic ass divine feminine in the reverse. I told you she wasn't no damn divine feminine. And now he know you the real divine feminine. She know that you been that she know that he been sending you telepathic songs and dreams. So this is a witch ass bitch over here, a wicked ass witch who possibly getting tarot card readings on this masculine or who doing some type of magic to keep this masculine to, to keep this masculine from coming towards you. But you ain't got shit to do with that. Yeah, she tried to stop a uh, uh, a extreme cutoff, or he wanted to stop a extreme cutoff. Chad, clarify this extreme cutoff. I'm finna get up out of here. Yeah, he want to give you that D. Oh, he don't want to break it. He don't want to break it up with you. You already got them cut his ass off, and he's, he he want to make it better by bringing you that vitamin D. But I don't think you want it though. Yeah, yeah, you saying hell no. I don't, I don't want to take your hand. You done moved on. It's over with. Yeah, he been stalking your social media account or she been stalking your social media account. Let's see how, how they gonna move. What's the next energy? I'm out, yeah. You have moved on. Reconciliation. This could be his energy. Magnetic. No, you done moved on to a soulmate. I feel like you done moved on to a soulmate. You guys have a magnetic pull towards one another. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was being a drama queen. I feel like he thought that whoever he was with was his soulmate and realizing this bitch was a number but a drama. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like this person feel lost without you. Because you moved on to a soulmate. Damn. Some, you could be a writer. You could be a poet. You could be a screenwriter. Whatever the case may be. What's the next energy? Yeah, you about to move into it. You about to move. You and your soulmate about to elope. Chad. Y'all finna move to a new place. A new crib. Yeah. Yeah, the, the masculine you was dealing with or the feminine energy that you was uh, messing with. This person was helping other people. They didn't want to got them help themselves. You can't help nobody who want to help themselves. So he said, well, if you want to help them motherfuckers, I'm going to go. How the hell are you going to help somebody else that need? No, 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 no. You got a whole lot of relationship over here, but you want to go help other people out that can't help themselves? You know what? Let me pull my energy back and you go help them fools in. Now this person is wishing that y'all could get back together. Oh, maybe you're masculine who you with now. Maybe he was helping other people out and he had to realize that he can't help out everyone. He realized that he was helping the wrong people. 
he hoped and prayed that you came back to his life. So this soulmate, you could have broken up with this soulmate and got back with the soulmate. And now he's realizing that you are the one for him. He, he wished on, he wished on the star that you came back towards him and you did. Wow. He's saying you're going to be mine one day. So I feel like you got two masculines here. You could be with this masculine now or this masculine is coming towards you in the near future. Hey, spirit, I don't do any more 10, 10 readings anymore. Um, online, I do $22 and up $22 and 22 cents up on individual readings. I've been guided to not to do, to not do 10, 10 readings anymore. So if you do need a reading, um, my ancestors have instructed me to tell everyone to please um, book your appointment with me. All right. And then those readings are for 35 minutes for twenty two dollars and twenty two cents. You will get thirty five minutes to get clarity on your situation. Yeah. And I'm about to get up out of here. So, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Thirty three Christ conscious. That's all I got for you today. Peace. Uh, uh, let's see. Let me see y'all here. What's up, Macy? Hey, Macy. Hey, Nora. Thank you, Trinity. I love you guys. Bye. I'm gonna get on to my next my next platform and go make this shmoney, money, shmoney. Y'all know how we go. Shit, we got bills to pay around this bitch. <laughs> What's up, Taylor? What's up, Nora? I was about to moderate. Hell no. Hell no, baby. I know. I'm about to get up out of here, though. Shit, my energy getting pulled on a little too heavy. You know, a high princess on. One thing about a high priestess, you ain't going to get them expose your, all your energy. You got to let them know now. You got to let them know. Don't expose everything. High priestess don't tell everything. All right. I love you, too, sis. Y'all already know. I will, y'all. The sun. You already know, baby. I know, right? Y'all see that shit? Damn. Y'all see that rainbow? You see that rainbow? Y'all see that shit? God's promise. Y'all see that rainbow? Hold up. Y'all see that rainbow right there? I see that rainbow. Y'all see that shit? Big high princess. You already know, Nika. Look, look. God's promise, right? I just seen that shit. What? Let's go. We in divine. We are. We are where we supposed to be at. Period. Let's get it. I love you, tribe. I'll be back later, and I'll talk to you soon. Remember, God's promises. Here, look at that rainbow. Look at them auras. You see that shit? Red, green, purple. Let's get it. God's promise. Yo, yo, promise. Promise is here. It's coming towards you. All right. Because you cleansed your energy. Because you moved on. Because you chose not to be the goddamn ass end of the joke anymore. Period. Beautiful. Thank you, God. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you um, to the, count, the high spiritual council um, of light energy. And even thanks to my dark forces that works with the light forces. If you know, what I, if you, know you know. All right. I tap into all energies. All cultures, all nationalities, uh, yeah, because I am a rainbow child. So make sure you tap into whatever that presents itself to you. All right? I love you guys. And always remember, stay sucker free. Don't ever be nobody's footstool again or nobody's human to uh, toilet. All right? Amen. Ancestors, yes. I don't care who you are. Look, tap in. That's all I got to say. If you know, you know. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.